What's up Facebook? Today we're going to be making the pumpkin spice latte smoothie. So um, I posted this in my blog on Tuesday so you can check out the recipe there. Uh, I'm not one of those people that needs to have pumpkin everything this time of year but I do like pumpkin beer and I like pumpkin spice lattes and I like pumpkin everything really but I'm just you know a little in moderation right and I usually have extra pumpkin in the freezer because when I open a can I don't generally use the whole thing so the smoothie is a great way to use up these ingredients so simple ingredients starting with a frozen banana not pretty and I didn't peel it at first so let me just adjust the camera so you can see what we're doing I'm using a Vitamix blender some of my friends have Blendtec, some of them have Ninjas. Um, we're gonna just go ahead. I took my banana out of the freezer a couple hours ago, so it's still kind of raw, you know, like frozen, but soft a little bit. And it's not pretty to look at, but it'll be okay. Um, half a cup of cold coffee, or if you read my blog, you could I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. You could have picked up the cold brew on nitro, um, but cold coffee will do. Half a cup of non-dairy milk. I use silk cashew um, unsweetened original. I'm gonna do a half a cup of that. I'm kind of eyeballing it. I have my leftover pumpkin. Um, and it's half a cup. Isn't that perfect? Uh, I usually have leftover pumpkin if I've made pumpkin chili or we do like a pumpkin cream sauce for pasta and I just don't need to use the whole can. So I snip the bottom of the bag, see? And then I just push it all through. It's kind of like a pastry bag so you don't have it I freeze a lot of my extras. I hate throwing food out. I just don't do it unless it's beyond, beyond repair. So half a cup of pumpkin puree. I'm gonna surprise my daughter with this because she is taking a shower and she's probably hungry. She got home from work. Two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. So if you don't have that, on my, in my blog post at the bottom where it talks about the nitro cold brew, um, the recipe is there and it'll say how to make your own pumpkin pie spice blend using cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and ginger. So two teaspoons of that, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I have a huge bottle of it. It's so hard to pour out just... I can't even get it open. It's hard to pour out just a half a teaspoon. Not working. I need rubber gloves. Okay, so the trick here is to just run it under some hot water because this vanilla um, crystallizes and makes the lid stick like glue. My mom always taught me to use rubber gloves to open things like this. Oh, looks like a charm. The hot water method. Half a teaspoon, so I'm gonna try really careful. Oh, that's more than a teaspoon. But vanilla smells so good, I always think, what the heck, why, so what if we do a little extra? Okay, optional ingredients. I'm gonna add a couple ice cubes. If you thought this through ahead of time, you could have frozen some of your cold coffee into coffee cubes, which sounds really fun, but I didn't think about it that much in advance. So a couple ice cubes. To sweeten it, the recipe calls for a few dates. Let me just look at you a minute here. I like to use medjool dates in smoothies. They're plump, they're juicy, they're full of fiber but I can't find any around here. So I'm gonna go with maple syrup. I'm just gonna do it to taste. Um, yeah, so there's that. Here we go. 
so I'll be careful not to overdo it. Now, if you want to get really tricky, you could add in some spinach if you want to fool somebody. Okay, that's probably, I don't know, a half a teaspoon or a whole teaspoon. I like things on the sweet side, so. All right, here we go. I'm afraid to turn it on. It's very high powered. seasonings to taste and I'm just gonna pour this in a mason jar because I think all smoothies should be served in a mason jar they're pretty I hope it all fits oh this is perfect yum all right I hope you like that recipe I hope you try it and sorry about the camera and I hope that um, you like it. It's pretty, see? It's a gorgeous color. And you can um, garnish this with a little bit of cinnamon or nutmeg if you prefer. So that's it. I hope you like your pumpkin spice latte smoothie. We'll talk soon.